In this video, I've tried breaking down general troubleshooting for window cleaning into six parts. The acronym is actually called PARTS, Pressure, Angle, Rubber, Tool, Technique, and Solution. Let's go ahead and take a look at pressure. When squeegeeing, you want to use the correct pressure. Too light of pressure and you won't remove all of the water from the glass. Too much pressure will flatten the rubber and you'll leave lines on the glass. You will also want to deliver even pressure throughout the squeegee. That is why you'll see here that my thumb is at the upper part of the handle. Starting out, I would always recommend to go lighter with your pressure than heavier. With time and practice, you will find the right medium. The angle on most standard handles is about 25 to 30 degrees. You will want to keep the back of your handle about 3 inches away from the glass as I'm doing here. You will have to adjust your angle depending on the tools that you're using. This here is a ledge easy with a 45 degree angle. This is a zero degree, so you'll notice here that the back of the handle is further away from the glass, still ensuring the correct angle. What you're trying to achieve is keeping this part of the rubber on the glass. Nothing more and nothing less. The rubber is one of the most integral parts of the squeegee. You will always want to carry extra rubbers with you and always keep them in some type of a container as I do here. You will also want to store your squeegees in a way that the rubber is not touching anything. This will keep them clean and free of any kinks or bends in the rubber. You will want to change your rubbers out frequently. This will depend on the type of windows that you're cleaning and also the frequency of work. I always suggest buying longer rubbers and cutting them down to the size that you need. Make sure that you're not using scissors but a sharp razor blade to get a clean, even cut on the rubber each time. You'll see here the wear on the rubber on the right and the new rubber on the left. This is a good indication it is either time to flip the squeegee blade or to use a new rubber. When you're inserting the rubber into your channel, you want to ensure that it's the correct length. Too short, and you'll see here that it almost fish hooks at the end. This will leave lines on the window. And too long, the rubber will have a wave in the channel like this here. This will also leave lines on the glass. You will want your rubber to be tight and even throughout the channel leaving just a little bit of overhang at each end. This will help prevent excess detailing. It's a good idea to always inspect your rubber to make sure that it's free of any nicks, cuts, or any debris. This will also leave lines on the glass. Next we'll cover solution. This is a very debatable topic. There are a lot of great professional window cleaning solutions out there. I personally prefer Dom. Using too little solution and the squeegee will almost feel rough and want to jump on the glass. Using too much solution can actually leave a residue on the glass and the windows will get dirtier faster. And you'll see here it also leaves a mess on the ledges and causes more cleanup. If you're going to use Dawn, I would recommend to start with two teaspoons per every two gallons of water. When it comes down to it, this is up to the end user. The ideal ratio should allow the user to have great slide and slip while squeegeeing the glass. And make sure to change your water out frequently. You'll see here this water is just about ready to be changed. We try to use clean, fresh water as often as we can. Make sure you're always using the proper tool for the job. Obviously here you'll see this 6 inch squeegee is not adequate on cleaning this large pane of glass. If you are a beginner, you will realize that smaller channel sizes are easier to control than larger sizes. With more practice and as your skills improve, you will want to use larger channels to get the job done faster. If you're new to the trade, I think you will find most often the problems come from poor technique. Don't let this discourage you. With more time and more practice, you will perfect your technique to become a professional window cleaner. If you are trying to troubleshoot general window cleaning problems, remember parts. Pressure, angle, rubber, tool, technique, and solution. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped, and if you're looking for more information on window cleaning, please visit Window Cleaning Resource Forum. Hey, Alex from windowcleaner.com and window cleaning resource. If you like this video or the tools featured in this video, be sure to check out windowcleaner.com shop for more crazy, awesome information. 
or you can give us a call at 862-266-0677. We were actually window cleaners before we started selling all this stuff, so we can make a really awesome recommendation and help you narrow down the perfect tools and equipment just for you. If you want even more information, be sure to check out windowcleaner.com community. Thanks.